Hi, welcome to How to Kill a Kit with Style, August 2019. And this is my second layout with this kit. And this was also for the Secret Not Secret Kit Club Party. And this was for a challenge that Christina had um, posted. And it was to use unique food, strange food that you have tried, or just any food. And the pictures, those three pictures are from my niece's wedding shower and the theme of the shower was I Love Lucy. Lucy was her nickname. My brother nicknamed her that when she was little and it had nothing to do with her real name. Not exactly sure how it got started, but it stuck. And so her friends decided that that was going to be the theme of the party. And these three pictures Instead of just putting them all one on top of each other or beside each other, I decided to cut a couple of them down and scatter them around the page and have smaller. And that one there has the one cake in the center, and then it has cupcakes on each side. And the cupcakes have the heads, little pictures of the heads of uh, Ricky and Lucy. And so I'm going to spread these out on the page. And I'm also going to back them in red because the colors of the party was red and blue. And since there's so much blue due to the tablecloths, I decided to back the pictures in the red. And I am looking at them and deciding how much to cut off of them. And see that hole in my paper? That is going to be my background paper. But I'm going to have to work around that hole and cover it up. I apparently punched one little hole <laughs> out of that paper the last time I did a layout, which had to probably be at least two years ago. This is um, Saturday morning, I believe it was called, and it's several years old. It may even have been three or four years ago since I used this, uh, but when she said food and I was thinking food and what did I have that was food, I remembered this. And I wanted that dark red really bad, but I didn't have much of that. And I thought, well, if I'm going to back all those pictures, I'll need a bigger piece. So I got a 12 by 12 piece out. And this came out of a color box pad. And I didn't pay attention. And it has a perforated edge. And so I'm going to have to end up trimming a couple of times because of that. But I didn't notice it when I was actually... Um, matting the photos and I had to end up trimming and changing a couple of things on this because of it and to get that part off when I should have trimmed it to start with but um, I'm going to end up putting one of the pictures over that hole yeah uh, one thing about it when I punch a big paper like this I try to push the punch over as far as I can thinking that I will use this as a background you know like a border around the edge or something and that I'll probably end up cutting the center out but this time I didn't this time I'm going to use it as the whole background after punching this card right here I think it was a cut apart and I'd already cut it apart for uh, when I did the work with the collection before and this is a brown plaid well I didn't need brown plaid in this layout so I'm going to cut that off and go ahead and mat that with the red also and pretty much everything in this layout is going to get matted in the red because I am going for the blue and the red that was all over the place in that room when we went to that shower and it was just the cutest shower. I mean, the games, everything. The girls that were hosting the party, they were dressed in 50s style. Bright red lipstick. Oh, it was just cute. I mean, it was a fun shower to be at. And here I'm punching out some hearts because I do plan on using hearts since it's I Love Lucy. And, you know, it has that heart with the I Love Lucy. And I do end up trying to draw that heart and then change my mind about that really quick. But, yeah, I'm going to end up cutting more hearts out than I need, but rather have more than not enough. And this placemat, I'm going to go ahead and round the corners and do it by hand. I do have two uh, corner chompers, and, of course, both of them have 
two different sizes on them so I probably had the size that would have worked but for some reason I am cutting it by hand instead of getting my corner chomper out and I end up trimming and trimming <laughs> I just couldn't leave it alone and I'm sure if I'd used the cor uh, the chomper I would have got it right the first time I wouldn't have to do all the extra trimming and I will do some more and I'm going to decide how to put the pictures here. I do know I want that one over that hole. And I'm going to put this banner there also. Uh, the picture barely, I mean just barely covers that hole. And it looks kind of lonesome up there. So I am going to do a little cluster. Well, well that banner is not that little. A little bit bigger cluster up in that corner. And... Uh, work with it the other side had the cute little bear and i think it said breakfast of champions or something like that with it but i decided to use the plain side since it is an i love lucy theme and put some other stuff there and i'm going to cut a couple of more punches do a couple more punches there but like i said i'm going to end up with quite a few more hearts than i need but i just throw them over in this little bowl to the side so you might see them later on another layout. And I think my punch is getting a little bit old. I've had it for a very long time. Uh, probably since they first came out with it. And I noticed that a couple of the hearts aren't punching as well. Maybe if I get some aluminum foil out and punch it, that might help. I might have to try that. But most of them punch pretty good still. And this is going to go up there and I know it's going to go there so look at me I am gluing it down right off the bat and trying to get it straight so I flipped it around where I can see it just a little bit better I am going to add some more things to that cluster but right now I'm just going to have the banner and the picture because I'm going to go ahead and while I'm thinking about what to add there put some of the pictures down that picture there is the one that inspires the title for the layout and that one is bottles of like sparkling water juice or something and the sign in front of it says Vitamita Vegemin yeah sold here <laughs> I don't want to have to try to say that more than once but yeah that's gonna be my title and Lucy did a commercial and she was selling that in the commercial and since it is kind of a hard word to say and she does talk really fast she had a little bit of trouble with it a few times too and i think she kept drinking it and it probably had alcohol in it it's been a while since i've seen that uh, episode but yeah i think i think that she got a little bit drunk while she was saying it correct me if i'm wrong in the comments below I am sure it's been 20 years since I seen that episode. Although I did watch I Love You Lucy yesterday morning. It was on when I turned the TV on and I just went ahead and watched the episode. And I'm going to have a little trouble getting this straight and I'm going to mess with it a little while. But uh, eventually I leave it alone. I don't know if it's ever straight, but I do leave it alone. I keep trimming on it and trimming on it and moving it around and yeah I'm gonna end up leaving it I do not know though if it's straight but I thought it'd be cute having that picture with the uh, placement looking like it went all the way across the background paper um, says like to be continued stay tuned on a previous episode tune in next time and things like that uh, some of it's in white some of it's in a darker gray whereas the background itself is in a lighter gray but it's the whole thing is words like that all the way across and I'm looking at the sticker sheet to see what I can use there I did put the little journaling tag up there and I'm gonna write something about it being Mandy's wedding shower and I'm looking for some other stickers. I thought I'd put that TV up there at the top and I do not end up putting it there. I tried a, a couple of times and I just couldn't seem to 
make it work. I did use the powder tool to take the sticky off the back because I planned on putting adhe uh, foam adhesive on it to bring it up a little more and add some dimension to my layout. But yeah, it's not going to go up there. I'm still trying again and it's still not working for me. I think it's because of the little legs on that TV. If it hadn't had legs, I might have used it. And here's where I get the bright idea to draw the heart. And I thought I'd use a pencil first. And yeah, I just wasn't sure I could get the I love you, or I mean, I love Lucy in there. And so I just decided to erase it and to cover it up with a red heart. Yeah, I got a die out there and I am not sure what it's from. I store my dies on magnetic sheets and it's a whole lot easier for me to hunt and choose and pick like the sheet I have that heart on I have quite a few different hearts including one that's from like a stamping up set a stamping up set of dies and the other dies are not hearts but yeah I just store them the way it's convenient for me but it is hard to tell what they are but this one is cute it is embossed a little bit and so it has an embossed edge around it and there i tried to tear off some of the foam adhesives but it wasn't coming off and it was just getting all gooey and yucky and yeah i just went ahead and left it i had already put foam adhesive on the other on the picture and it didn't look too bad laying it down with it on there so I just went ahead and laid it down with it on there so I'm looking at it and trying to decide if that picture is straight or if it's not and I will mess with it a, a little bit more it wasn't straight with the words across there even though I did line it up with my t-square ruler and I thought it looked better with that the letters on there if I went ahead and lined it up with the words and so that's what I did it just was a little bit being moved but not too much and I am going to cut out most of this where I put that on there look how long that word is I didn't count the letters but it's quite a few I am going to go ahead and cut out that circle with the nine when I was a kid you seen something like that on your TV pretty often the stations didn't go all night long and you'd see something like that for a few hours if you happen to get up really early like I usually did way before daylight and I turn it on with the sound all the way down and that's what I'd get I was lucky enough to grow up around Chicago so we did have a few channels to choose from so if I change the channel I might find something but yeah the nine's going to go on that side and of course i don't want to waste the other part so i'm looking for a place to put it and i thought both of those places and then it's going to end up on the left because i decided the right side was a little bit heavier than the left side so i went ahead and put it on the left side and that's just like a bar up there it wasn't it was underneath the circle and i thought why let it go to waste i'm gonna go ahead and cut it to Put it in there and then the other one is on off switch so now i'm looking at the stickers from the saturday morning um i can't tell what they're by but it is saturday morning and i it's a cute set and i bought it i i bought uh i bought the collection I, I mean i bought a few pages and some stickers and stuff because my grandson loves pancakes and it's got pancakes in there and i have yet to do the layout for him with his pancakes he even won a pancake eating contest and yeah i don't have a picture of that but i do have pictures of him eating pancakes i mean he could have them for breakfast lunch and dinner when he was younger that one up there that I put the sticker, the round sticker with the scalloped punch, it says, oh, the drama. And I thought that'd be really cute for I Love Lucy because she used to be so dramatic, so dramatically funny. I mean, she'd just get so carried away. But it'd always make a good show. And I really enjoyed watching them when I was a kid. 
and that little sticker that's just kind of barely barely showing at the bottom of the screen that one says my favorite show and this sticker oh this one is the on off switch and that's the bar that i was talking about and like i said everything's going to get matted in red because i'm really going to go with the red and the blue theme from the shower I might have got a little bit carried away on the matting though. <laughs> uh, there I'm trying to decide how to lay those parts. And, oh, I'm looking for another sticker to see if there's something else I could add. And I find one that says, what's on? With a question mark. And so I'm going to use that one. And I'm going to keep looking at that up there and thinking it needs something else because that banner it being... Oh, I guess it's almost a cream color. It's not exactly white, but uh, it's such a big space that is that I'm going to go ahead and look for something else in a minute that's going to go behind the picture to take up some of that white space there. And Oh, I'm not sure what I put there. Oh, that one says tune in next time. So yeah, I'm going with the theme of the TV and they did have a box shaped like a tv for like if you were given monetary gifts and want to put a card in there with your money and but yeah it was shaped like a old-fashioned tv and i do have a picture of that somewhere too and this is a sheet that has scheduling on it and i'm looking at it trying to decide which one i want to use and I do pick one out and I cut it a little bit bigger than I thought I needed because I wanted to be able to cut it down if necessary because I figured it was easier to cut it down than to uh, have it too small and have to cut another piece and I wanted to make sure I got parts of it straight so that's what I'm doing here with my uh, uh, guillotine cutter and yeah, I had to flip it over to get the other side. And I wanted to, I did glance at it real quick to make sure I didn't cut too much off because I didn't want to cut the words off. And I decided to cut that just a little bit more, but I'm going to end up cutting it even more than that. And since I already put my cutter in the floor, I will do it by hand. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. Most of it's going to be covered up. So if I didn't get it straight, it won't be that noticeable. But I didn't want it to cover the letter V. So I'm going to cut it off just a wee bit more. But I think that schedule helps it a whole lot. Instead of having that big expanse of white, it's going to fill it in just a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. I'm going to try them a few different ways to see how I want them. And yeah, I'm going to end up doing it about like that. I'm going to bring that on i'll switch down lower though by the time i get done and layer it with the other two pieces and that one's the bar that's just kind of plain jane and i'm gonna glue it down first and then i'm gonna put the what's on on top of that and then i get the idea well you know i've got the on i'll switch and so i'm gonna move it down right there with it so it'll be the on i'll switch and what's on and that's gonna yeah, it's going to work out pretty good. Thank goodness for liquid glue. Everything, you can kind of move it around just a little bit until it dries. But of course, I got to fuss with it a little bit more. And I think that's about it, except for those red hearts over to the side. I'm going to, I'm going to end up pulling them all over, put them all on that page. I don't know what I was thinking because surely I knew I wasn't going to need that many. But yeah, I pick them all up, move them all over. And you will see at the end that no, I don't end up using all of them. But since I do like to over embellish, you know, there's always that chance that I'm going to keep going. But I end up putting what's left over in a bowl to the side. So you might see them again later on another layout. Yeah. Yeah, but I do love that Martha Stewart punch. And uh, I'm not going to make you watch all of this because it will take a few minutes. Even though I don't put them all, I put quite a few on the page. 
but yeah that's it i'm gonna put like a couple of more and be done and that's the end of my layout uh i want to thank you all for watching and uh, if you leave a comment below i will love to reply to you and if you like the video please hit the thumbs up and if you're not subscribed i'd love for you to subscribe sorry i can't talk I would love for you to subscribe and also below will be the list of everybody else doing the how to kill a kit with style and again thank you so much for watching and have a happy scrappy week bye